Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Salton Sanctuary. Uh, I'm back over here because uh, I feel like I didn't get anything done while uh, inverting gravity. And like, first and foremost, what a sentence. But like, you know, this is one of those areas that you cannot do without this, with this brand. So I'm probably supposed to be doing something with it, you know? Trying to avoid, like, reverse plummeting to my death. Okay. Ah! See, this is what I expected. I expected a lever of some variety. And it looks like that that probably opens the thing above me. So I managed to grind enough for one level worth of salt. Interesting. I don't think I could go over here before. Come on. Thank you. I'm going to grab another uh, salt. It's a big hammer, my man. Maybe I should eat. That would be good. <gasps> no. Oh, that's not bad at all. Well, lucky me. Hey, big fella. Can I convince you to come over here? I think I see poisoning. I assume that he will continue to poison up while I'm wandering around trying to find my way back to him. Yeah, I'm just, I'm so, I'm too close to a level to not just go get another one. Uh-oh. The armor is uh, working well. I'm happy with mo where my armor is. I don't think I'm going to get him, I guess. Annoying. It's a hundred. I think I'm at a hundred and eighty something. Or eight thousand. Wow. I'm up to nine K. Oh boy. Nine, ninety, twenty. That's pretty big. So yeah, I ended up getting uh, another endurance, I think. Yeah, I think it was one of the ones over here. So what I should probably push for now is, well, I could go this way and grab more endurance that way, but this will give me, yeah, I'll, I'll save it. I will delay my gratification and get something hopefully better out of it because not only will I get a regular perk but I'll also get upgraded armor 
the potential to wear it at least. Though I do hope that the upgraded uh, gear will be as styling. Because that's the problem, you know? Like, I keep finding great sets of armor. This isn't, this isn't even a Salt and Sanctuary, even a Dark Souls problem. You find a great set of armor, and it looks terrible. Like, there's something to be said about, um, I think, Dragon Age. Because Dragon Age has, like, crazy, crazy armor where everything is, like, the most stylish thing anyone has ever worn ever. And, like, even rando grunts. Oh, it wasn't this one, I guess. So it was down there. Even rando grunts still have, like, stylish armor. And, like, when the rando grunts you describe are Grey Wardens, then it's like, well, sure, of course they would have cool style and gear. This is bad. Let's just cheat. Getting down from there is not worth my time. Um, but yeah, like, rando grunts having cool armor makes sense when the rando grunts are randos in the Grey Wardens. But, like, I feel like even, like, random, like, bandits have cool armor in Dragon Age. And, like, I don't know. is I don't know how justifiable that is. And, again, it's not that I want to buy a whole bunch of salt items. It's that I'm going to waste my money if I don't. And, like, I know I can probably get through this game without spending a cent. Whoops. But, like, I have the money, I may as well use it. It's, uh... It's just, like, kind of weird that, like, the system ends up working like this, you know? Like, in Neo, I feel like Neo doesn't even need a money system. I've not played Neo 2. Be in Neo 1, like, you always have, like, a million yen on you. And, like, yes, you need it to buy new armor and weapons, but, like, I feel like for the most part in Neo, like, I always had so much yen that I was never hard up for cash, and I could always do something. Like, I can't remember a single time in Neo where I was like, wow, I need to go grind for money, or I need to wait to buy this thing. Primitive bones. Okay, so it was up here, was what I was looking for. Okay, then there was this candle. Keep near and roll. Disemboweled husk. Okay. Uh huh. Uh oh. This isn't too bad of a boss. I mean, I say that. Ooh, that's a lot of salt. Should I be a higher level? I feel like at the rate I'm getting salt, I'm like leveling up so fast. Like, it takes like five minutes of just going to, to get enough salt to get a level. The fact that you, the, the cursor remembers where I was selected is pretty cool. Okay. Oh yeah, I should, I should remember that there's a block button. I feel like I haven't pushed the block button in like several episodes worth of footage. I mean, you guys are watching. 
you might remember more than I, especially if you're uh, like binging it. This is not the way. Come on, man. So just poem. Should I just reset? Well, then again, I didn't even use all my rolls last time. By the way, I find it very, very charming that my healing item is just a good, tasty meal. Uh, this is a problem. Okay. Please, I just... I just need you to stop. I, yeah, I wonder... I, I keep wondering if I should, like, be stronger or have more health. Alright. Disembowled husk. He's got a combo. Come on over. Need the roll. I'll just top off there, why not? Okay. So what I feel like I'm needing is like... I'm just gonna double eat there. What I feel like I need is more stamina now. Right. Vanquished. That was good. That was good. Disemboweled husk doll and spiked key. No, you can't seriously do this to me. Why is that a why is that a breakaway? Why would they do that? That's such a dick move. That's just a way to screw you out of your hard-earned salt after the boss is done. Like, that is such... I can't believe that they did that. That is an unbelievable dick move. I should have just saved and quit. Like, is this supposed to be a punishment for me not immediately, like, homeward boning back? That is an unbelievable dick move, guys.
I've mentioned this in the past, but I'm not particularly one to play these games because they're like the crazy hardest games ever. Because Dark Souls isn't even that hard. I like them because they're interesting commitment-based RPGs that have, like, unique control styles. Oh, not bad. That's... That's so stupid. Why is, why is there a breakaway out of it? That could have gotten me enough to, like, level. I'm not really using these things. So where am I supposed to take that then? All right, it took a second to cool my head. Seriously, do you know the? Does anyone know the term Kaizo trap? Uh, I think it just originates from a really hard ROM hack of of Mario Bros. called Kaizo Mario, where they just have like little tricks done to just make the game harder. To bully the player, essentially. And that feels like what that is. Like, Kaiser Traps aren't necessarily against the game's, like, meaning, but, like... They're not inherently wrong, you know? It's just that they have a, uh, they have a, a, a feeling about them, you know? Like, w is is there an honest difficulty in just putting a pet trap outside of the boss room so you, like, trip on it, you know? Is that necessarily, like, fun? Is that challenging? Like, granted, yeah, this game is uh, a platformer. Like, there's a lot of platforming challenges. So is it correct that, you know, they challenge you by having a platform? But then one would also think, like, hey, this is a, uh... Like, this is an area where there's a lot of hard enemies. And, like, you... you that problem arises, like, right after you even... Like, it's just after you finish a boss. Like, this is why in a Souls game, like... This isn't a problem in a Souls game. Because in a Souls game, walking backwards from a bonfire... ...isn't too bad, because enemies that could knock you into a pit are gone. And, for the most part, you know, you've killed everything on your way to a boss room. This isn't always the case. But for a lot of people, it is. I don't know how to upgrade my health. Is that intentional? And, like, also, I know that I can just grind up more souls, but, like, or salt. I, I am aware of the fact that I can just grind more salt whenever I want, but... I could have... The thing about, like, just saying, oh, just grind is, like, grinding can be done at any time, you know? You don't have to have just lost a bunch of goodies in order to grind and make it worthwhile. And if one was to grind... If, if one was to grind after this, like... It doesn't change the fact that you still lost those. Like, I could have had those... What was it? 22k? And I could have ground up another 22k. Like... And it's just because they decided to have one of those there. Like, is it just so you can't... 
like run out of the boss room while there's a boss like if someone wants to get out of a boss room they can like just try really hard and use a uh Man. But yeah, if someone wants to get out of a boss room, then they could just use a uh, bell of return or whatever those are called. It's that big jump. But you can also just save quit. Like... If someone wants to get out of a boss room, they, they can. And, like, if you're here to fight a boss, then you're here to fight a boss, you know? But there's another thing that Dark Souls fixed with fog doors. And, like, I, I don't know if I've ever tried leaving a boss room. I don't know if you can actually do it. I don't know. That's just one of those things where, like... I don't know if that's the correct way to design a game. That is that is something I would never... And granted, I have not designed a game, but I have given a lot of thought. But that is the sort of thing that I would never, ever put into a game. Pardon my silence. And like, this area is annoying. I'll be honest. Like, the, the fact that enemies can just free teleport and just... Like... Ignore what you're doing... Like, it's rare that you would have lightning damage. Or, uh, lightning resistance, rather. Because, like, I feel like those are the only enemies I've seen doing lightning damage to me. Okay, so I went down there. I think there were also a few at the, uh... The castle. But, like, I don't really need that much lightning defense, you know? Like, is it is it my fault that I just don't have lightning defense and they killed me? And, like, then there's a whole other issue with game design, because of course a game should be difficult, you know? Wrathful Dead. That's a cool name. No game should just be a total gimme on your whole way through. With, you know, some exceptions. Like, I think it's fine if a Kirby game is pretty easy. Because Kirby's for everyone. But the thing about Kirby, or like Sonic the Hedgehog, for example, is that like, while there are a lot of child fans of, of those guys... What everyone's really here for is, like, crazy, super cool... See, this is just stupid. What everyone's here for is cool, crazy, super speedrun stuff. Like, it is cool to see how fast Sonic can actually go. And, like, for that to happen, someone needs skill. And so, like... The skill that would normally go into beating a game, you know, and, and, you know, saying that beating a game is hard, now beating the game is easy, but S-ranking it is what you really want. You know, that kind of seeking a better score sort of gameplay. And, and that's its own thing. And the thing is, is that, like, Souls fans, like, definitely there's a lot of mire of stench. Oh, boy. Because there's definitely a lot of Souls fans who are like, I'm just going to get through the game as best I can. 
that a turret gun? You know, I'm going to do my best to survive Dark Souls. And that's valid. And then there are also fans... Um, who are like, I'm going to just do Dark Souls as much as one can. You know, I'm going to do more Dark Souls than anyone ever has. Am I going to get a salt and sanctuary soon, guys? Hmm. Ah. Good. Ah. <sighs> Could have had 40 salt. I'm salty, I'll admit it. I'm a little upset about that. That looks like a trap. Wow. I'm uh, unhappy to be correct. Should I throw one of these guys down? But anyway, one thing that a lot of games try not to do is they make it so that you can still beat the game. And like... I'm aware that, you know, as soon as a Souls game comes out, some crazy idiot is going to play the game at level nothing with, with just their bare fist and beat the game like that. But like... The problem with a bloodstain mechanic is that it can impede somebody's gameplay, you know? You, you can permanently damage somebody's ability to play through the game. Because they will forever be missing those... There will be salt ahead. It's so dark in here I can't even see. What is happening in there? Right, I'm using my metal icon. Pardon me. But yeah, something like, um... Just to use Bloodborne for an example. The start of Bloodborne is one of the harshest openings to any video game I've ever seen. Because, like, while you're taking your time and trying to understand what the hell's going on, everyone in Yarnum is moving towards the town square. So they can have their, like, fun werewolf lynchings. And so for a beginner, like, to just say, hey... The faster you go, the less the less people will be in the middle of town. Like, I don't know if that's a fair thing to do to somebody like that. I would say that the correct thing to do would be to make it harder on someone who does go fast. But Dark Souls is a lot about the unstable equilibrium that comes with a video game. Because, like, a lot of video games, it's like, it's hard, but if you do well, it gets easier. And if it if you do bad, it gets harder, you know? And that's kind of what I mean. Like, because of the bloodstain mechanic, you can permanently lose real tangible progress. Can I really not grab that? Really? Okay, I... I guess I can't grab that. But yeah, losing... Is that a spider with wings? Yow. But yeah, losing the ability to progress is... Something that should never be in a video game. Like, for example, accidentally selling a key item. Like, maybe, you know, in some cases you should 
expect a player to be like, hey, don't sell this key item, you know, and you can just ask the player to not do that. And sometimes, like, for example, in Skyrim, uh, for a particular quest, you need 20 of an item or whatever. And if you use them, then you use them, but, like, they're common anyway, so you can just get more. Really, dude? I... What? What was the correct thing to do there? Anyway. <laughs> but whereas, like, using a permanent item and missing out on, on stuff through that is not the same as like you just literally sold a key and the key is the only way to get into the certain door and now you've locked the game. Like those really shouldn't be a thing. Like I just I think games should be made more accessible and not less. And I think that there's a lot that people could learn about like the way that Kirby treats its players where it's like anyone anyone should be able to play and beat this game and it, if you get really oh that's cool graphically that's pretty sweet anyone should be able to play and beat this game and like if you're really cool then you could you know well uh oh oh it's just a poison swamp of course it is oh it Goes out both sides, that makes sense. Caltic Razor. Interesting. Really, guys? It says alas, like it gives a shit. Was I talking about? Yeah, there's there's a lot that you could learn from Kirby in just terms of pure game design of <laughs> What did I do wrong there? Like I just went up there and and because I got stabbed I got interrupted. Let's see if there's a way to just not do that. Okay, when I hit the jump button, I just don't jump. Okay, I don't know what the correct way to deal with that is. But yeah, for example, like... Let's use a different game for comparison. Also set in town. Leprous. If you, like, miss out on treasure in RE4, you know, there's nothing to stop you from beating the game with a default pistol. Or, like, with the Punisher. There is, I assume, enough gear in that game to get through, you know, just, and make it not impossible. But somebody who's having a hard time really needs that treasure in order to help them beat the game. Because without it, they don't have enough, you know, they, they just need more. And, you know, I don't think the correct thing to do is just to say, get good. I think that that's kind of a dickhead way to treat a player and to design a game, you know?
I guess it's just important to remember that there might never be another game like God Hand. An ugly piece of shit game that is still nearly perfect. God Hand has a system. Like, first and foremost, God Hand has like four or five systems that are basically unique to God Hand that I've never seen anywhere else. Okay, so what am I doing wrong here? I jump. I jump all the way to the top. And then I... I get, like, stuck up there. Why does the game let you do that? Again, this is, this is, a, this is now a different gripe, but... Why does the game allow the player to trap themselves in a way where the only way out is death? While just exploring. And, like, granted, I've done it twice for the sake of curiosity. Because, you know, I don't really need that salt. What? Okay, again, like... What am I doing wrong here? How am I... How am I meant to deal here? But, like... It's just a thing of... I... Okay. Let's finish my spiel on God Hand. God Hand has a combo meter a la something like Devil May Cry. And combo meters are cool. Um, you know, they theoretically let you see how good you're doing in this video game. In God Hand, however, fuck you guys, okay? In God Hand, your combo meter and the difficulty meter are the same thing. So the better you're doing, the harder enemies fight. The more health they get, the more you get your ass kicked. And granted, yes, you do get more cash money for being on higher difficulty levels, which is a little bit of that unstable equilibrium thing. But at the same time, you need more money in order to survive the higher difficulty. This is... This is stupid. Like, they kill you, and then they put your salt in an area where stopping for a moment to fight in order to get your salt will get you double killed again. Yeah, die. Anyway, God Hand. So yeah, the... The combo system God Hand uses is so interesting, and then the fact that there's also... One of the only ways to put a stop to unstable equilibrium is, is good. Like, Dark Souls is one of the best examples of an unstable equilibrium because of the bloodstain mechanic. If you're bad at the game, you'll die, and you might even lose boss souls, and then you'll miss out on the ability to upgrade your character in really comprehensive ways that means that you just won't do as much damage or won't be able to take as much damage back. And you'll just have a weaker character and you'll have a harder time getting to the end game. And when you get to the end game, you'll have a harder time beating it. But God Hand runs on the theory that like, if you're good at the video game, then you should have no problem having more guys fight you, right? And so they, really guys? So they, like, they give you more, and, like, if you can't handle that, then you get hit, and your combo drops. And then you go back to level two or whatever you were on, and it's like, that is where you can manage it. And just, really? I feel like these things might break too fast. Honestly, for, like, how this game works, how this game uses its, uh, like, platforming, because, like, the ledge grab animation takes time, and, like, you're using the time that you should be using platforming on that thing to finish your ledge, gra ledge grab animation. And, like, I don't know if that's correct. Yeah, I guess just as I'm starting to play more of the game, I'm starting to see more of its flaws come out. 
course, no game is perfect. But I mean, I'm getting to see specific ones here. It's still a very good Souls-like, and it's still a very good game that is definitely worth playing. Come on, guys. Sorry, focusing in hardcore there. Should really cut this episode soon. So I'll just pull them, eh? They're just dropping them now. Interesting. That's a message to cut the episode, I think. I'll see you guys next time. I've been Alfred. Thank you all for coming. This has been Salt and Sanctuary, a particularly salty episode. Um, this is the end of my closing thoughts. Have a good day, everyone. Thank you for coming. Bye.